Similar idea in uh, example two. So here we've got the probability distribution uh, for X uh, with unknown A, B and C. And we've been given a variety of information. So the information that we've got is that the expectation of Y, uh, where Y is 3X minus one is equal to minus 2.5. And the variance of Y is equal to 13.95 and the third bit of information is that we know that the uh, total of any probability distribution the probabilities we know the total there is equal to one so the idea here is using those three bits of information probabilities add up to one uh, expected value of y is minus 2.5 and variance of y is 13.95 three bits of information, three unknowns, and we should be able to set up um, simultaneous equations to work out uh, A, B, and C. But anyway, let's deal with uh, each part uh, in turn. So part A, we were required to find the expected value of x squared uh, and the um, expected value uh, of x. Okay, so... Uh, we know that x is equal to y plus 1 over 3. We've rearranged. So we've rearranged y is equal to 3x minus 1 to give us x is equal to y plus 1 over 3. And then using our formula for expectation, and that enables us to work out the expected value uh, of x, a third times the expected value of y, plus 1, so minus 0 0.5. For the expected value of x squared. Uh, the trick here is to acknowledge the fact that the variance formula links the expected value of x squared and the expected value of x. Remember, the variance of x is the expected value of x squared. Take away the expected value of x all squared. So anyway, if we work out the variance of x by using our a squared times the variance of y formula, we get 1.55. And then using our rearranged version of the variance formula um, to work out the expected value of x squared. So we can use our variance of x and our expected value of x in that formula to get our expected value of x squared. Now part B, this is where we use our three bits of information. So we use the fact that our uh, probabilities will add up to one. We use the, the fact that the expected value of X, which is calculated by doing uh, minus two times 0 0.3, minus one times A, zero times 0 0.25, one times B, two times C. We use the what we've worked out in the first part of the question, knowing that that's equal to minus 0 0.5. Okay, and that will give us our uh, second equation. And thirdly, using our expected value of x squared that we've just worked out as 1.8, um, we can do a similar thing and establish an equation in A, B, and C using that information. Um, leading us to equation three. So from the three bits of information, we get three uh, simultaneous equations, which we now need to solve to find A, B, and C.